Today we're here at UNSW Art and Design's Makerspace to talk about 3D printing. 3D printing is a great way of creating prototypes for many art and design projects you might be working on while you're here at the college. 3D printing is a great way of giving form to your ideas. You can create very accurate and highly finished parts of almost any shape. The unique thing about 3D printing is that it is a new additive process. So unlike other fabrication methods, it uses just the amount of material it needs to create the object. That way it reduces a lot of waste. And you can create almost any form with it. I've got a few examples here of the types of shapes that you can create. Open shapes that need some support to be provided by the 3D printing software. Complex lattice type shapes. With 3D printing you can even print shapes with moving parts or interlocking joints. This is an example of a spanner that's been printed where it's actually moving once it comes out of the printer and the support materials removed. To get started with 3D printing, you'll first need a computer file of your 3D object. You can draw that file in a number of computer software programs, 3D modeling programs or CAD programs. For example, you can use Maya, FormZ, Rhinoceros, um, AutoCAD or Vectorworks or even Mudbox. It doesn't really matter what 3D software package you use, as long as it can export an STL file, that's .stl, which is the essential file that's used by the 3D printing software to process the file for printing. You can also create a 3D computer file of an object by scanning it using a 3D scanner. This takes some more time and the file will still need to be edited in the 3D software, but it's a great way of capturing textured surfaces and quite organic forms. So let's take a look at the 3D printing process in a bit more detail. The first step is to transfer the STL file of the object that you want printed to the 3D printer. This is done via the 3D printer's software. An STL file is the standard for 3D printing regardless of the type or brand of printer. It's a universal file format similar to the generic JPEG file in digital imagery. Once the STL file is loaded into the 3D printer software, it will check the file for errors and can perform a number of simple functions you might need, such as moving, rotating or scaling the object. Your 3D shape must fit within the build box of the 3D printer, otherwise it won't print. For the up printer in the makerspace, this is 140 by 140 by 135 millimeters. Because there's no sense of physical scale in the virtual environment of computer modeling, it's easy to create a very large or a very small object. So to simplify things, keep size and scale in mind when you're creating your form. Alternatively, you can split the model into pieces, print them separately and reassemble the parts. The 3D printer software will often allow you to clone and print an array of objects too. The software will then slice the shape into thousands of layers that become the print paths. Before the 3D printer can be used, the print bed must be installed and the printer initialized ready for use. Technical support staff will prepare the printer for you. All you need to do is supply a computer file of the shape you want printed in the STL format. The 3D printer begins the print by depositing a thin layer of plastic onto the print bed. This aids the adhesion of subsequent print layers which follow the shape outlines of each slice. Layer by very thin layer, the printer builds up the shape over time. When the print process is complete, the print head will retract automatically. The job's now done and the object can be removed immediately, ready for cleanup or if necessary for painting. Now you understand the 3D print process. So when you're ready to create your own print, take your file down to the technical support staff who'll help you through the process.